Hello, welcome to this video where we look at how to create a case sensitive XLOOKUP formula. For this example, I have a table with an individual's status and then the rate that they qualify for with that status, which is simply the letters A, B or C. But you can see we have those letters in different cases. On the right, a table with the rate for that corresponding status. Now, if we tried an XLOOKUP formula to return the corresponding rate, so if I do my XLOOKUP searching for the status of our first individual here, Fred, and I look in the status column of TBR rates, and I return the rate column from TBL rates. Now this, as we're suspecting, and as is the purpose of this video, is not going to work. We can see that it does return the correct result for Fred, because that is the first occurrence of the character A that is found. But when we look at Sally, who has a lowercase a as her status, it returns the value corresponding to the uppercase a. So it found a match for the character A, but we would like to take into account that they are different cases, therefore different statuses. To do this, we will use a function called exact. And as its name implies, it compares the characters exactly, including their case. Now to do this, we're going to change the XLOOKUP to search for the value of true, because that is what the exact function is going to return. We're going to use it to perform the expression, are these two values equal, the status of the individual and the status in the status column, are they the same? And when they are, when it evaluates to true, that is what the XLOOKUP is looking for. So for the lookup array, that is where the exact function will be. And it's going to look for the status of the individual, comma, and then I'm using the column status of TBL rates. So the exact function will return the value of true or false. If I highlight the exact function, we can see that in the small tooltip provided above, that for Fred, the status is matched in the very first occurrence, everything else returns false there. So if I run this by pressing enter, that table is now returning the right answers, Sally 350, and we can see Sophie, Another match on a lowercase b that time for 310. So by using the exact function, we were able to very easily create a case sensitive XLOOKUP. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. It'll really help out. And subscribe if you want to receive the latest videos at this channel. Take care. See you again soon.